Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by AppTrans. AppTrans allows you to transfer all of your apps, app purchases, and app data from an iPhone to an Android device, from an Android to an iPhone. And now this software allows you, as I mentioned, to transfer everything instantly with just a few simple clicks, select your applications, and instantly transfer all of your app with app data to your devices. Now you can also save this to your computer for a later restore. They also feature an app a backup option, which allows you to save all of your apps and app data at the moment for a later restore with with their app restore options were also available. So if you're looking to save all of your app data, app purchases with a few simple clicks and transfer them to your devices, check out AppTrans. Links will be in the description down below. What's up guys, I device help here. Welcome back to the channel. And today I wanna to talk about some of the latest rumors pertaining to iOS 15. Now, some of the latest rumors say that Apple could very well be changing the entire aesthetics and looks of iOS 15 control center for the iPhone. Now, as it stands right now, iOS 14 control center has been one of those things that you either love or hate. A lot of users prefer this control center. Some users do not. Now, some are in between, as I am. The reason I am in between is because the current control center on iPhone only has one option only to invoke this control center, and that is swiping from the top right onto the bottom, which is okay for some users. Now, if you're using your iPhone one-handed, this could be a bit of a reach, right? So you have to do one of these here. You don't have an option to choose which corner you have. So if you're using this left hand here, you can't really invoke control center because you have to do this right here. And if you go to the left, you just get notification sensor, which doesn't make any sense at all. Now, you also don't have an option to actually swipe from the bottom right or left of the screen because Apple just doesn't allow you to do so. But the latest rumors for iOS 15 indicate that Apple could be making some changes. Now, the reason I'm in between against the control center now and what I hope Apple will do with iOS 15 is because Apple doesn't give you the option, as I mentioned, to swipe from any corner that you prefer to invoke this control center. I think this would be an awesome option because we have right-handed people, left-handed people. Some may want it from the top or from the bottom. It doesn't matter. So if you swipe from the left, you should be able to invoke control center, as you can see here, or you can swipe from the bottom right and invoke control center app switcher will always be in the center in my opinion it's very smooth and of course this is a jailbroken iphone you can't get this anywhere else but if you do have a jailbroken device the jailbreak tweak used in this video right here it is it's called big sur control center or big sur center now here's where the rumors come into play apple is looking to release ios 15 beta 1 in about 60 days as of today so that means june 7th 2021 apple will be announcing if rumors in history is any indication right for the past decade plus apple has always announced the first beta for the next major os so ios 15 beta 1 is about 60 days away as of the filming of this video june 7th 2021 will WWDC Apple will most likely unveil the first look at iOS 15. So control center, in my opinion, should be a unified experience throughout Apple's ecosystem. So iPads, iPhones, and the Mac. And Apple really likes to make things uh, unify, right? So they look alike so that you recognize them when you jump from one platform to the other. Now, as of right now, of course, this control center does not look like the control center for the Mac. And on the iPad, this is what you get. And on the iPhone, this is what you get. But on the Mac, you get something a little different. And when I heard this rumor about Apple changing the control center to make it look more like a Mac OS control center, I thought this rumored made a lot of sense. If Apple is looking to unify the user experience, we could see this control center look that you see here coming for iPads and iPhone with iPad OS 15 and iOS 15. As you can see here, I have the display, the audio, media controls, any additional toggles and extensions, as well as some of the options here on the top left for your toggles as Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, cell connection. Long press here gets you additional options. Of course, you have do not disturb rotation and camera. Those buttons can also be customized with this jailbreak tweak. Now, when I heard this rumor that Apple is looking to make this control center for iPhone and iPad look very similar to the one on Mac OS, I thought, it'd be a great idea and another thing i wish apple would do is to actually allow users to choose which corner of the iphone you would like to invoke control center from i think this makes a ton of sense if you're right-handed and you prefer the top right then yeah there it is for you if you prefer the bottom right there you are if you're left-handed and you prefer the top left then you can invoke it from there or the bottom left etc now as it stands right now as i mentioned i have mixed opinions about the control center for ios 14 because you can only 
invoke it by using the top right corner of the display. It is a little crowded, but I kind of like it. But if Apple changes to this look right here, I wouldn't mind it at all. Now, my question to you is, which one would you prefer? Would you prefer iOS 14 or the rumored iOS 15 macOS Big Sur looking control center? Which one looks best for you? And if you don't like either one of these, what are your options? What are, what are you thinking of? What do you think Apple should do with control center to make it a better experience for you? Let me know in those comments down below. Thank you for watching. Links will be in the description and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.